Hi, this is Ryan from Silencer Central here to show you how to clean and remove the baffles of your Banish 30. A lot of people like to take their suppressor off at the extension. That's going to give you something to grab onto. And then internally, you have a full baffle stack here with an expansion tube and then two more baffles in that extension. In order to get the baffles out of the extension itself, you're just going to use the tool that we supply with your suppressor and remove the end cap. Once you get that loose, most of the time you can do that by hand. Those baffles don't seem to normally ever get too stuck because they are on the far side of the suppressor, so a lot of times you're gonna be able to push them out with your hands. The remainder is very stuck. We got about 500 rounds through the suppressor, so we're gonna be utilizing our baffle removal tool. We're gonna to go ahead and insert the baffle removal tool and then push the baffles out. Now, depending on how tight these are, I might be able to do this by hand, but if not, I will have to utilize a wrench. You just use the wrench on this side here, but it feels like these aren't too bad, so. We'll get those out. Once you get them to break loose a little bit too, a lot of the times you can actually just tip your suppressor over and try to tap them out, but unfortunately that's not the case here. Once you get all of your baffles out, Then you're going to be able to remove your baffle removal tool. The expansion tube is going to stay inside of your suppressor. That's actually designed to make sure that the point of impact does not continue to shift when you are cleaning your suppressor. Then we're going to take our baffles, and I have an ultrasonic cleaner here. We're going to throw those baffles into that. And then you can use whatever solvent you would like. Um, a lot of guys like using Hornady's One Shot Solution, which is going to be a really good brass cleaner. Um, if you need something a little more caustic, calcium, lime, and rust is also a very good unit to be using. But I already have some CLR in there, so we're going to go ahead and insert the baffles. And, of course, put your lid on and start your sauna cleaner. Make sure you're checking us out at silencercentral.com as well as ask us at Silencer Central if you have any questions. Thank you.